Now for something a little bit different, guys. The Escort van, still in BT livery, which I think is absolutely mint. You know what, we've had a few come in this morning, and uh, including the lovely Impreza P1 and Aston Martin around the corner there, Citroen all the rest, some nice things. Uh, but out of everything that's come in today and out of everything that's floating about, I, I think this is brilliant. I really genuinely think this is brilliant. Uh, just so nice to see an original spec van and it's right up my street. It's my year, obviously. We used to sell, well, say hundreds, but dozens of these each year um, and people could come along and pick the color and uh, I've painted no end of them. If someone come along and said, our fleet color is dark blue, fine, no problem, we'll paint it dark blue, you know, if it's two-tone. We used to buy those silver and white, silver and gold ones, uh, something on silver and white ones from JC Deco as well, and put them into different colors. Um, but anyway, this is absolutely brilliant, this. So there's a load of spec with it. Um, the gist of it is, it's not killed with miles and it's not killed with owners. The, uh, one of the original owners there, I think that uh, the original BT driver and keeper was runner up to the BT driver of the year competition and he kept the van as his own. Yeah, there you go. So she's had, I would suggest a very soft life all the way through. And I just honestly, I'm gonna sneeze now. <coughs> Excuse me, but I think it's absolutely great. Absolutely great. 18D, as usual, the light goes out, or you can wait for the clunk on the relay there, but she's warm, so she'll start straight away anyway. But when they're cold, there's a clunk that you can hear. Wait for the clunk. Brilliant engine, not exactly bursting with power, but unburstable, really. Proper light switch there, look for your beacon. Factory one, obviously that swings up. All you need is a set of ladders to go on the top. And I tell you what, this old girl has caused more interest at a show than that. Fact. Look at that. Look how level that van is. Still got the sticker there on the rocker cover there. Look. Look at the expansion tank nice and clear. Sound deadening's all there. as level a van as you're gonna get. I'll turn it off in a minute and I'll uh, open the back up for you. Big pile of paperwork there with the van. Oh no, tell a lie, it's in the office. Sorry, it's in the office, the paperwork's in the office. But yeah. <laughs> Considering you used to see these everywhere, didn't you? Absolutely everywhere. When's the last time you've seen an Escort van in its original BT livery. Still got the slam locks on the back. I think you need two hands to do that. Hang on, I might just be able to do it with one. No, hang on a second. Bear with me. Had slam locks on a lot of the vehicles. There you go, look, still got all the racking in there. Still got the bulkhead. Still got your tube, like I say, just wants set of ladders to go on there. And you're back, aren't you? But look at that, still real level on the doors. Still got the rubbers on the doors. Yeah, look at all the mechanisms, still got the gold tinge to it. I think there's a couple of sets of keys from what, uh, from what I read. But I think that is genuinely, I cannot get across how capped to bits I am with that van. So come down, have a look. But if you want something completely different that I can assure you will, will, will generate more interest than you can ever imagine at a show, there you go, it's the old Escort van.